welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today I want to talk with you about being prepared when you step out on the ice and specifically what to bring with you. So you're not running off the ice every couple minutes during your session because you forgot water and you need to go to the drinking fountain or you don't have a hair tie or maybe you forgot your music and you're working on a competition and obviously you need your music if you're working on a program. I can't tell you how many lessons I've had that have been interrupted and have significant time taken away because my student wasn't prepared. They didn't have the proper equipment out on the ice with them. Maybe they had to go back to their car and find their CD or their MP3. So you want to be prepared. You wanna step out on the ice ready to make the absolute most of your time out there on the ice. Now I'm gonna have a list of links in the description down below. So if you see some of the things that I put in my bag and you wanna get the exact same one, it'll be easy for you to click on those links and shop. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is that you get yourself a proper wall bag. A wall bag is something that is designed for the rink side. It has structure, it's the right dimensions to sit on the wall without falling off. There are a number of different companies that make them, but my current favorite is from a company in Australia called Twizzle. They make some gorgeous bags, and when I picked out mine, I actually had a really hard time because there were so many that I thought were just really stylish and lovely that I hemmed and hawed for almost a week before picking out my bag. But this is the one I went with. It's beautiful, this beautiful cream color. Comes with a fun little doodad there. It has a shoulder strap that you can use. I'm not using it right now, but it does have a shoulder strap and then these two handles and a little strap that you can use optionally to hold them together. All of the bags come with three sections in the middle and a little elastic pocket down the side. The cool thing is these sections are Velcro, so you can just pull one out and all of a sudden your bag has a different configuration. So as I said, this is from a company called Twizzle Galleria from Australia. They do ship worldwide and I will post a link to their website down in the description down below so you can get yourself a gorgeous wall bag from them. Let's go into what I put into this bag. Twizzle Figure Skating Galleria has a wide selection of beautiful wall bags. The one I got is the Cube Saffiano Tote Bag in beige. They have a strap across the back so that it can easily be looped around your skate bag handle for easy carrying. I'm just going to remove the shoulder strap as well as one of the two Velcro dividers in the middle. Now the first things I'm going to put in there are my inhaler and water bottle. These are common things that people need to jump off the ice for, so it's best to have them rinkside. I love this water bottle from Hydra Peak. It has excellent insulation for both cold and hot, so when I'm coaching, I fill it with hot tea, and when I'm practicing, I will fill it with water, and I'll add these pomegranate energy fizz sticks from Arbonne. They are a lifesaver, I love them. The energy comes from green tea and ginseng, so they really help power my skating sessions without the jitters that I get from caffeine. I also like to tuck a little snack in there just in case. I always bring a lip balm to the rink with me. My favorite is this shea butter lip balm. It's also from Arbonne. Next are hair ties. It drives me nuts when students come with their hair down, so this is as much from them as it is for me. I always get the sniffles at the rink, so tissues are an absolute necessity. I also dislike skating in wet gloves, so I like to keep a backup pair in my wall bag in case I take some falls and get my gloves wet. Then I have a nice dry pair to replace them with. I recently did a video about how to use a handstone to adjust the sharpness of your skates. I keep these in my wall bag for those students who are needing a little blade touch up. I also like to keep a notebook with me so that I can keep track of my progress, make notes of things I need to fix, and that kind of thing. I really like this practice notes book. It has a section in the back for goal setting and divided sections for lessons and practice days. So tuck that into your bag along with the pen. Lastly, you need to make sure you have a way to play your program music. This will be different for different rinks. Some use CDs, some flash drives, some have auxiliary cords. You just need to be, make sure that you are prepared for whatever your rink uses. It is also advisable to have headphones to practice your programs, not on the loudspeaker. You're gonna to wanna to practice it a lot on your headphones and then pop it on the loudspeakers when you get a chance. 
I also use a Bluetooth speaker. My favorite is this UE Boom 2. It is the loudest speaker I have ever used. It's extremely durable and it allows me or my students to easily hear their music from across the ice. I recommend this UE Boom 2 speaker to both coaches and skaters as a good tool to use to practice their programs. So this is what I put in my bag so that I am prepared for a successful skating session. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed this one, found it informative, and you are going to be well prepared for your next skating session. As I said before, there are links to all of these items in the description down below so that you can get the exact same items that I have in my wall bag. If you enjoyed it, then please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button down in the corner and the little notification bell so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.